Honolulu, Hawaii. A tank filled with more than 600,000 gallons of diesel fuel explodes. The blaze threatens to consume everything in its path. If the other nearby tanks catch fire, the blast could claim thousands of lives. And that tank fire was only about a mile or a mile and a half away from downtown Honolulu. And the potential for a huge disaster was there. More than 100 firefighters close in to battle the inferno. Desperate to stop the flames from spreading, they soak the tanks with water and fire retardant foam. Hey! But the heat is so intense it melts the pipes. Streams of leaking gasoline spontaneously combust into deadly pools of fire. Despite the life-threatening conditions, firefighters Ken Yamamoto and Daniel Bishop fight to control the flames before they spread. The fire was tremendous. It was a huge column of smoke and flames that went up at least 200 feet or more. Braving the intense heat, Daniel sprays a steady stream of water onto the blades. Nearby, Ken and another firefighter try to extinguish a burning pipeline. Suddenly, the spilled fuel ignites. When Ken turns to flee, he falls into the flaming gasoline and is immediately engulfed. Now he's on fire. He looked like a stuntman in the movie. He was just a running ball of fire. And I was trying to redirect my whole stream towards him to try and put it out. But water alone can't save him. As Ken crawls across the scalding pipes, a fellow firefighter uses his gloved hands to douse the flames. Ken is spared a horrific death. And all I recall was that I was going to die, and my fate was to burn to death. After what seems like an eternity, Ken makes it to safety. He's drenched with water to cool the second-degree burns on his head and back. After witnessing Ken's brush with death, Daniel never thought he'd see him alive again. When I saw him, get engulfed by that ball of fire. My guts were just churning. My, everything inside of me was telling me that I was going to lose my best friend. His terrifying ordeal behind him, Ken Yamamoto is grateful to be alive. I reflect back on that situation. It was just really hard for me to believe that how close I came to death. 